What is going on you guys? Make it Wayne back in here. We are with another episode of Spin the Wheel of MLB Players. Thank you guys so much for the outpouring support on this series. I really do appreciate it, but if you want to continue to see it as much as possible, make sure to smash that like button. Let's get right into this. You guys take a look at the lineup. We made a couple of adjustments. We now have Aaron Judge, Troy Tulowitzki. We were able to get another pitcher. I really do like this lineup. I feel like we're going to be able to score a lot of runs. But if you haven't been watching my Battle Royale series, guys, I played my 11-0 game the other day. I will put a link up here if you guys want to click on it. And I've also been posting it every day as well. So if you would show some support on that, I would really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get into this game. Looking at my opponent's lineup, we're going against the Hialeah Riders. He has Francisco Lindor, Ian Kinsler, Miguel Cabrera, Nelson Cruz, Manny Machado, JD Martinez, Gary Sanchez, Pablo de Armas is creative player and Jason Vargas on the mound the 91 overall diamond We're also getting Jason Vargas. Let's get into this. See if we can't get the victory here We go. Let's see what this lineup can do for us today Lorenzo Kane gonna be leading it off in this one I want to try and get the diamond one. I've been working on the missions. Hopefully I can get him soon He would be cool to see but we're nice hit here uh, no. Jose Ramirez up looking to do some damage. I really expect this card to take off at some point, but it's not going to be here. One thing about this Jason Vargas card is he does not throw very hard, so hopefully we can drive some balls. Aaron Judge up to the plate. I'm going to be early on that, and we just fouled it off at 111 miles per hour. Holy cow, but what are we going to get here? An off-speed pitch. Wasn't a good start, but we are going to hit him. I guarantee it. All right, let's see what we can do against this diamond lineup with Jason Vargas doesn't throw very hard like I did say but he is getting a one pitch out three and two count on Ian Kinsler come on Vargas I don't want to walk anybody change up down another ground ball to short two outs two outs in the inning and a card that I was thinking about picking up Miguel Cabrera up to the plate because all this card does is hit Justin Turner up to the plate almost had three hits for us in the last one let's see if we can do that here as he's blowing it past me at 90 miles per hour making an 0 and 2 count come on we need to get this offense going what are we gonna get that's down in the zone i was on it ike davis now up not really expecting much from him in this one considering he does have a lefty on the mound but he does give me a fastball down the middle this one is hit well it would have been a home run if it was a righty all right hopefully i can start getting some calls like that i could definitely use it considering that we do have someone that doesn't throw very hard on the mound runner on first jd martinez up oh my goodness i just hung that change up right down the middle but like i said sometimes the worst pitch is the best pitch we're going for a jam shot here and we are working our way into an 0-2 count let's try and sneak a breaking ball in the bottom of the zone he is swinging and missing as he's trying to go to second he will make it the first, but we do get our first strikeout. All right, I'm going to try and break a lot of bats with Chase and Vargas. This one is hit well. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? And we're not going to get him. He's going to get the hit and run to perfection. His creative player up now. Let's see what we can't. Oh, my goodness, umpire. Are you seriously not going to call that a strike after what you did to me with Tulowitzki up to the plate? This one into the gap. It's going to be at least one run. Hopefully not two. I can't even speak English right now. That's not good. I don't know, man. I might have to get rid of Jason Vargas early on. I don't know if I can take this finesse type of pitching. We're going to get out of it with only one run. We need to get some of our own. Soto now up. Let's see what he's got for us. That's down in the zone and another out. So far, my opponent has been perfect against my lineup. I've had a lot of good timings. Just nothing has been able to fall so far and everything is falling for him. Absolutely nothing is going my way so far in this one. And I have the worst team. I feel like this happens all the time. I've just got to try and find a way to win as that's going to be a ball. Okay, seriously, come on. You're giving him all these calls, and you're not giving me any at all. One out. Going to try and break his bat here against Nelson Cruz. He definitely went around. I saw the whole entire barrel. Thank you very much, umpire. We have an 0-2 count, so we need to waste the pitch here. Let's see if we can do that down in the dirt. He's not swinging. He's trying to go. We have him at second base. Yeah, nice. Oh, my gosh. What the heck is going on? Let's throw it to third. Tag him out. 
I'll take it. Full count to Nelson Cruz, trying to put him away with the fastball on the inside part of the plate. I'll take the fly ball. Let's get this run back. Come on, Lorenzo. I need big things from you at the start of the lineup, as that's right down the middle in our first hit. Let's get this rally going. I really don't think this Jason Vargas is that good. I don't know why I'm not hitting him yet, but things are turning around here, as that's going to make its way all the way into the gap. That is easily going to be our first run of the game. That a boy, Jose. One out in the inning. Justin Turner up was the guy in the last game that I was able to count on. This one is up the middle. And just like that, we're getting our first lead of the game. We've got some sneaky good talent at the bottom of our lineup with Troy Tulowitzki and Giovanni Soto. Oh my goodness. I did not go around. That's okay. 0-1. Come on. Give me something. Seriously. I was looking for that pitch. Didn't even react to it. Let's go, Tulowitzki. You need a battle here. Find something to hit. That was too close to take. That's going to be the final out. Let's go back and get these out. All right, let's see what we can do with Jason Vargas. Not sure how long I am going to stick with him, but if he keeps getting one pitch out, it might be a while. One out in the inning. J.D. Martinez up to the plate. Going to try and stay in on his hands. Okay, he kind of barreled it a little bit, but it's still an out. 1-0 count on Gary Sanchez trying to get through another inning. This one back to Vargas. Make it a nice play. Let's get some more runs. Rasmus now up. I think I'm going to give Jason Vargas one more inning and then I will take him out and go to the bullpen because I'm not sure how well he will do going again. And that is going to bleed down. He's diving for that one down the line. I'm going for third base. Can we get in there with the triple? He's safe. Giovanni Soto tasked with the job to drive in this run because Jason Vargas is up next and i'm not sure what he will be able to do come on giovanni i need you to come through that one is down in the zone hit it well but it is going to be a foul ball i'm guessing that he is going to try and elevate here what are we going to get that's a breaking ball i am all over that into the outfield i'm going to try and tag up and score that is jd martinez to the plate and he's going to be safe. Colby Rasmus scoring. Getting another run. Back to the top of the lineup in Lorenzo Kane. What does he have for us here? He did hit a single in his last at bat. He was able to start a rally. And we got a run up on the board. But what are we going to get here? A high fastball. I was ready for it. Jose Ramirez did have the double in his last at bat. We could use another one here. And that one is going to be up the middle. We were running on the pitch. So he's going to be safe at third. And I'll take second. Not sure about Aaron Judge yet. Looking to get my first hit with him. This would be a great time. This one hit pretty well. But it is going to be a fly out. I might have to move him down in the order. Okay, this is going to be the last inning for Jason Vargas. Because I just think he's not going to be able to make it through the lineup another time. And we will go to the bullpen with a two-run lead. Hopefully his creative player up to the plate. I struggle against them. And that just continues as that's going to be hit down. Hopefully he tries to go two. He'll stay one. My opponent is keeping in Jason Vargas for him. So that is a good sign. That means more hits. Oh my gosh, he missed the tag. Why does this stuff still happen? I mean, seriously, why? I honestly don't understand why that stuff still happens to this day. It happened last year. It's something they should have addressed, but they didn't. So we have stupid stuff like that happening once again. Come on, Jason Vargas. Find a way to get out of this inning as we get a jam shot here. This is going to be a tough play for Lorenzo Kane. He's making it look easy. He's also trying to go to third the tag. He'll be safe. You know, I probably should have warmed up the bullpen for this situation with Miguel Cabrera coming into the plate. But we shouldn't even be in this situation considering we tagged the runner at first. We didn't get the out, but we're able to get in on his hands. Jason Vargas putting together a really quality start. Ike Davis now up. I was hoping maybe he'd go to the bullpen so we could face a righty with him. But that's okay. Ike Davis still giving it a good shot. Now, come on, Tulowitzki. You've been quiet in this one. What do you got for me in this, AB? Oh, my goodness. That was smoked. Manny Machado now up. I've done a pretty good job against him today. And that's going to continue. JD Martinez now up. Two outs. Ottavino looking really good so far in this one. I like this card. I tell you guys that every single time I do use him. But he throws 96. He's number zero. Has a deceptive motion. How much cooler could you get? A fastball up. It is going to be fouled off, so we are way ahead. Let's go with this wipeout slider down in the zone. Maybe get a chase. That is going to be a chase. I'm pretty sure that's only our second strikeout, though. I don't feel like I'm chasing very much in this game. I just feel like we're not getting enough hits due to the fact that we are hitting good ones. 
But there we go. I'll take another one. I'm not even sure what I said right there. Adam Ottavino got his one inning of work. Now we're going to Hunter Pence, looking for him to come through. And he's going to go through for us. Come through. Dang it. Lorenzo Kane is one hit away from three. That would be a spin. I'm not sure. If we, I don't, we don't have a spin in this one so far. Come on, Lorenzo. We need our first spin here. That's down in the zone. Oh, my gosh. Kinsler for one. So close. Okay, I did just look. We do have a spin because we do have eight hits in this one. Tulowitzki, you got to make that play, man. He really likes to move his runners. I'm going to go with this two-seamer in on the hands. This one is hit back. Come on, turn the double play. Only 77 speed. I'll take it. Keeping Diekman in for another inning of work. And then we will go to our closer. But we might have to go to our closer earlier than we wanted to. All right, that's not good. Runner on first base. No outs. He has a bunch of righties coming up. Probably wasn't the best decision for me to keep in Jake Deacon, but he was pitching so well. I really wanted to. Okay, there we go. One out. One, two count on Miguel Cabrera trying to get another out. Oh my gosh. How did he fish that pitch out? Seriously? Come on. Find a way to get us out of this Iglesias fastball inside. Ground ball to second. Let's go with the easy play at short. Great job. Rossell Iglesias. I don't know why I paused right there. Going with David Freeze off the bench. I think he walked him on purpose because he wanted to make me go to the bullpen again. But this one off the pitcher. Come on, Freeze. Only 38 speed. Really? Come on, man. All right. We're going with my man Tony Watson to try and close this thing out against a pretty good diamond squad. Oh, my gosh. How is that not a strike? A fastball inside. And we got ourselves... One down. We've got ourselves a one and two count. Let's go with a quick pitch fastball. See if we can get him to swing and miss. Okay. We need two more strikeouts to get a spin. Let's see if we can make it one here. And he's not chasing anything. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Seriously, let's go with the sinker down in the zone. I don't know why I threw this pitch, but it worked. Come on, Tony Watson. Finish this thing off with a strikeout, and we can add another key spin. Let's do it. Come on. Let's create a player up. I'm pretty sure he has a hit in every single at bat, but we do have ourselves an 0 and 2 count. Come on, Tony Watson. Finish it off strong. Fastball. Okay. A little bit too high, but that's all right. We are still way ahead. Let's go with this sweeping slider across the bottom of the zone. And all of a sudden, this guy doesn't want to chase anything. Come on, Tony Watson. Find a way to get him out. See you later. I'll take a spin for strikeouts. There you guys have it. In this one, I'm going to do my best to count up the spins. We only got three. I know. It's kind of disappointing that we won the game and only got three. But we didn't hit very well in that one. We got five hits, five strikeouts, and a win. Those are the only spins we do get. Let's go take these three spins and hopefully get some upgrades. We have ourselves three spins. Let's take advantage of them here. What is the first team going to be? The Mariners. Now on to the Mariners. What are we going to get a ton of talent here, including Nelson Cruz, who we just went up against. It's going to be a pitcher. Let's see which number. Okay, here we go. What number pitcher from the Seattle Mariners? Number two. Not sure it is, but we will go take a look. The second pitcher for the Mariners is James Paxton. He is going to be really nice to add to the rotation. Not a bad spin to start off. Here is number two. Which team this time? The Giants. They've got a lot of talent. I would definitely like to get Hunter Strickland from the Giants, but we will have to see. We never usually get pitchers twice. Shortstop Brandon Crawford. I'm not sure about this move. I'll definitely put him on the bench, but I kind of think I want to use Troy Tulowitzki. You guys will have to let me know who you want to see, and I will take your suggestion. Okay, so we're down to our last spin. Which team is it going to be this time? The Brewers? I mean, I'm not sure who I'd want from them, but they are playing well. Okay, here we go to the Milwaukee brewers the first place milwaukee brewers what are we going to get a pitcher i'm not sure what pitchers they have but hopefully we get a one or two okay brewers what are you going to give to me i don't even know what their starting rotation looks like but we are going to get a number two let's go look at it the number two pitcher for the brewers is going to be this junior guerra right here because they do have a flashback cc sabathia who is a 97 overall he looks like a pretty decent card we really beefed up the starting rotation here. There you guys have it. Three spins in the books. Not too bad. Getting another win with this team. We do have Brandon Crawford and two more pitchers. That is going to be nice. You guys will have to let me know down below which shortstop I should use. And I'm already going to guess who you guys want me to use. But it is up to you. And also, if you didn't check out my Battle Royale video already, make sure to do that. It is a really good one. I would appreciate some support. But if you show support on this by leaving a like, I will do my best to get another one out tomorrow for you guys. But until then, have a good one.